In South Africa, we have a high prevalence of respiratory diseases, tuberculosis and lung cancer. And when we need to make diagnoses in the lungs, we can take small biopsies with what we have. But to make very good diagnoses, you need to have bigger chunks. And so generally, we were in the past reliant on the cardiothoracic surgeons. My name is Gideon Titus. My name is Eric Shaddock. I'm a pulmonologist at Charlotte McLeod Gay Johannesburg Academic Hospital. Attached to our unit is the lung lab, um, where we uh, perform our pulmonology uh, interventions. What we aim to do is to bring um, the best level of care for the best possible outcome um, to the patient in the public sector. As you can imagine, there is extensive waiting lists, multiple complications, lots of patients aren't fit for a general surgery. We didn't have everything we needed. And in the last, you know, five or so years, there's been a new piece of equipment. Here, Kyle, I've got the pleasure. You know that this game has given a commitment to a better tomorrow starts here. And I'm pleased to announce that the WITS Pulmonology Department has been selected. Congratulations. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? We're really, really excited to hear that. Thanks to Diskim's contribution um, with regards to the purchasing of the cryoprobe and the bit of equipment that comes with it that facilitates the biopsies, we're now going to be able to do our own cryobiopsies here, which will mean that we can circumvent or bypass the cardiothoracic surgeons for a large portion of the lung biopsies we need. The, the fellowship that I'll be attending um, is hosted by the World uh, Association of Bronchology and Interventional Pulmonology in Turkey. And the emphasis of this fellowship is to train uh, pulmonologists in more advanced techniques. The hope of this is that I'd be able to bring back the expertise, spread the knowledge amongst peers, and in this way, grow our interventional pulmonology unit. Uh, living in a country where we know that we are dealing with a lot of tuberculosis, your lung cancer, and your respiratory diseases, I think it's a great idea. When they come back, they can teach what doctors that are left here to do the same things. It's so good that the scam is able to find for people who are actually in need. A better tomorrow. Spasia. <laughs>